What's going on guys? Shane here with former WBO champion Chris Algieri. What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing some sparring. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully I don't die. He's at the pace for me. Watch your footage. List. Check it off. <laughs> Not doing it again. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely do it again. Oh my god, still super controlled too. That's and and that, so that's like the biggest thing about me in boxing. That's what I consider. So that's the art of boxing is control. Yeah. And I've always thought that whoever can control, for one, the space in the ring. I think ring generalship is such an underrated scoring just oh, the factor. You know. Thank you. Who's in control of where we're fighting? Am I moving here, coming at me? Am I walking you down and putting you in bad positions? And you can kind of give an, have an idea of who's in control when they're doing that. Because the guy that could be backing up could be in control. But people don't realize that a lot. And the guy who's going forward he's just could be not in control. He's fishing, getting yeah. tuned up the whole way. Right. But be like, well, he's coming forward. He's aggressive, but he's not effectively really aggressive. So that's. That's a big point that I think gets lost in who's actually in control. At the end of the day, you're in the ring with a train killer who's trying to kill you. Right. 
and you're trying to kill it, trying to kill that. Yeah. So being able to control them, keep them from being able to kill you, while you get yourself in positions to be able to kill them. Right. So it's all about control. Obviously an important skill. Yeah. Everyone focuses on what looks cool, what looks fun, the flashy punches, the long combos, the knockout, the you know. work. Yeah. 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 And I think that's something that, speaking of the best of our generation, is Floyd Mayweather. He's in control. Yeah. You know, when he, at any point where he's gotten out of control, like when Shane Wilsey hurt him, mm -hmm. he changed up his game plan, made an adjustment, started walking him down. Yeah. And, and really beating his ass for the next, you know, eight and a half rounds. So, that, that, that control of not only your opponent, but the control of yourself kind of find out what works best for you. Right. I remember a coach telling me that years ago, and it was one of the best bits of information I ever got, was when you spar, everyone has a plan A that works. And if it works for you, great. You know that works for you. But also practice your plan B through Z. Mm -hmm. you know, just in case plan A doesn't work against one of your opponents, try other strategies in sparring. It's the worst place to give it a try is in a match. Yeah. If you haven't practiced it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that, that, um, that happens sometimes, uh, or a lot, actually. In training camps, where especially there's a lot of pressure on the camp, where the fighters like, I gotta win every round of every sparring session. It's not true, right? You know, are they gonna be are they gonna be tough rounds? Are you guys gonna be going hard? Totally. But like, are you gonna win every single round when you're switching off guys and you're working on certain things and you're trying to get something to work? No. Right, right. What matters is fight night. You know, everything you do, you can lose every round of training camp. And you go out there and you win. Right, 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 right. Fight. Who cares? Yeah, it's a difference. You're getting paid for that anyway. Exactly.